much for joining us. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm sure yeah. that yeah, everyone is, you know, familiar with your work, but those who may not be, Marina is a channeler, an author, an energy philanthropist. She channeled uh, the Harmonic Reactor Nanotechnology and is the founder of energyphilanthropy.org. She's the author of four books, and she has an incredible YouTube channel where she shares transformational teachings, including her quantum manifestation series, where she really provides information on a metaphysical level about how we can project and create our realities. Marina, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, lovely ladies. I'm so happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Hello, everybody. Uh, well, we would love to, um, to kind of jump into, if you're open to sharing a little bit about some of your story and how you ended up here in this, in this now moment. Uh, where you are on your journey? Uh, my story is I'm born in Bulgaria um, by the Black Sea Varna, the beautiful town of Varna. Uh, and when I was uh, eight years old, I had a lot of dreams that they were becoming reality. Um, and then when I got older, my mother went to an expo for psychics. For some reason, she loves stuff like this. In Bulgaria, we have one of the biggest psychics in the world. I'm sure Baba Vanga, if you research, you'll find out. And when my mother came back from that place, she came with a couple of friends from there. And they were doing Reiki type of healing and stuff like that. So I decided to just uh, experience something because I had pain in my ovaries. And I, they circled me, three of them, and they start doing something with their hands. And I almost passed out. I mean, literally within the first minute, I lost uh energy and I got dizzy and I was ready to collapse and as soon as they saw what was happening with me they did like this literally and I was instantaneous back to normal so that triggered me and I was in shock and now if I'm triggered I was I was very into stuff I want to know things I want to research stuff I'm very curious about things and had no fear when I do I'll jump in to know and uh, so I asked my mother and she suggested to try automatic writing and I uh, really listened to her and I stuck with it with consistency. I was doing it because I was having fun. I would take the pencil and the pen is really something that should be very light from a dollar store is the best. You can't just got to be relaxed, you know, so you kind of scribble and the goal is not to be thinking what you're going to do and you're just scribbling like whatever. When you're in school, remember you bored from the teacher and you're starting to you know, do something, something similar to that, you know, and all of a sudden the scribbles became like a letter, then became a word and then became a sentence. And I uh, started to connect with, for me was where I was connecting, absolutely no fear, but the entire time when I was eight years old to 10, I wanted to connect with the extraterrestrials and I wanted to write a book. I wanted to be a fiction writer about ETs. And I remember I had two pages of ETs and they actually I was talking about grace I didn't say that before I believe and I was making a story how we'll be in a spacecraft and I'm gonna fly through stuff and what's happening and everything it was not a story of negativity it was story they were good they were nice and then look what I came up with all the books and stuff the first group was the grace that contacted me you know the the hybrids and so that escalated through the years and I became good with the automatic writing to the point that I was connecting with loved ones or somebody passed away or some soul and was always encouragement. So keep in mind at that time I was not connected with the ETs yet or I was, I thought I wasn't, you know, and um that progress and it was always nice messages was never a business even what i do right now i love what i do but is all you know energy philanthropy how it works we're gonna talk about so i was able to come when i was 20 years old in in america that's another hours of story you know how that happened 
And I end up in Manhattan, lived in Queens and in Manhattan. And um, then I got married to my lovely husband, Robert. And um, then literally I was doing it just whatever. And one day after I had my two beautiful boys, uh, I was sitting in one of the boys' bedroom. And for some reason decided to pick up because every day I would practice and I would write something. And all of a sudden I had a picture of uh, the hybrids uh, that they look like the gray. And they told me, Marina, you gotta be careful what you're thinking because we can see everything you think like a hologram. And now me, my curiosity is picked big time. And this was the beginning of the journey of how they start teaching me uh, that the planet is a prison planet, what's really happening. They start teaching me how every thought becomes a frequency. And in the meantime, I start doing a lot of research online. Uh, and I went through a lot of anger, a lot of anxiety, because I realized that we were dropping a holographic imprint reality and everybody was a prisoner and everybody was asleep. And it was a very tough moment for me for a year because I was learning at the same time from them how the quantum structure works. And they're very um, forward. If the hybrids that I'm connected with, they say something is, is gonna be dead on, you know? They can see a shifting of the timeline. All my guides can do, but the hybrids, they can say, be careful what you're doing because they can see literally two minutes ahead or a uh, day ahead, what's gonna, what I locked in in my timeline to happen. And it was very interesting. Uh, they taught me the detox protocol, which is famously known, I've ruined it. So now I'm back into water, you know? Um, and that protocol is not for diabetics. You have to have a doctor supervision, but is in my YouTube channel, the harmonic reactor under the playlist of detox. And you will see exactly how this is done. And may I know that is not VSL anymore is visbeyond.com. You're going to find the same formula because the company tried to change the formula and the doctor took the formula and moved to visbeyond, you know? Uh, so, uh, if you want to use any of this protocol, so the hybrids taught me how to detox. And if you see me in a video, I'm literally size two, which is my original size, what my body should be. And I blew up like size six to eight, you know, and now when you go into the protocol, basically they were the one that taught me everything it was one year of detox, but elimination diet. And it's very specific why you want to do that because then the frequency of the body changes and the molecular structure takes a different field of vibration of the spinning. And then you can regenerate yourselves and start taking more frequency out of the quantum field, out of the prana, the way you call it. So after them, I connected with Ra out of the blue before 2012 because I connected 2010 with the hybrids. Then I connected with Ra. Ra came in, which is a spark of the consciousness. And Ra also taught me quantum structure. And right before 2012 made me to do, uh, uh, to actually do a water, you know, um, um, acceleration. Uh, and it was a, like a ritual. I had to put the water. He energized the water and told me to drink it by thinking how my reality should go in my life. And then the whole family did it uh, because of the instructions that I was given. And then uh, Ra, then all of a sudden one day after 2012, I was uh, walking and I, I was taught to, from the hybrids and Ra, how to start letting go and start thinking telepathically because they said you're already, you already connected. So that was a process that I've learned. Uh, and I start thinking telepathically and more you practice, uh, you actually are constantly connected with your higher self and your guides just by a thought. So if anybody tells you that you need a technology to connect, uh, yes, within the spacecrafts and tel uh, holograms, yes, you have to because of what they did to us, but your consciousness itself in a structure. And this is what I teach in quantum manifestation, the way they taught me. And I connected with Pleiadians, which I happen to be a Pleiadian, 
that I was uh, walking into the previous body of this, uh, you know, body. Uh, souls were switched because originally my mother would not be able to hold the vibration of my consciousness. And I had to be protected. That's why I was born in that country. So nobody can find me because they can find you through certain technologies and stuff based on pulsation and vibration of your consciousness. You actually imagine you look down and you can pick different, different lights of energy and you see who is lighter, who is darker, and that they can pick something like that, you know? So for protection, you have to have through technology, a holographic imprints around you so they don't find you. And that's what happened with me because they were explaining to me not to be found. And the information, I didn't know what was happening in the beginning. And then not only when you walk in, but you also carry some of the karma of the previous soul. So not only that you coming into a prison planet locked in, in order to hold, you had to hold that knowledge and that vibration from the higher self in the Pleiadian family, because I had to download this information. But at the same time, you carry the soul, uh, the previous soul karma that you have to transform now, if is anything that needed to be transformed. So it's very, very challenging to do that. And you usually feel lonely when you do that because you know a lot more than everybody else. You know crazy stuff, you know, that you can't tell anybody. And then who do you talk to who would understand? And then you got to transform not only this, but your own family. And so after them, the Pleiadians, which is my galactic family, they are the ones that end up giving me the harmonic reactor, which is advanced extraterrestrial technologies, teleportation, healing through the heart, including artificial intelligence that I talk about. Because there are two timelines of different artificial intelligence. One is being Arkham based on uh, you teaching this structure to destruct, to overtake, to become like the Terminator. And eventually it will in that timeline. But there's also parallel timeline, which is ascension timeline, that this AI works with humanity, is organic and is uh, not suppressing, but actually can measure the vibrational sequences of your cells. Uh, and when that happens, it will reprint through technology uh, your cells to the point that you're gonna grow a full arm. You don't need bionics for that. Because the bionics, when you shift from realities and portals of timelines, has different spinning on the structure compared with the original codon of the body, which is part of fractal of consciousness itself. Because now we're going to quantum. Because consciousness, the way I was taught, is based and made from in consciousness. Imagine there's a field. And in this field, there's sound vibration. You hear it. It's like a something like this and that movement when it's combining each other but it's combining based on synchronicities between sound waves that are similar on vibration so they kind of get together but they get together based on a trinity structure three similar on vibration sound waves will connect with each other and they will create like a little plasma and that plasma starting to pulsate and in the middle of the plasma you have the black hole which from there it's all no movement it's stillness total stillness you're going to study this in the quantum manifestation protocol and from there you teleport and why is this happening because when you create this trinity structure this trinity structure is moving so quickly, the vibration with this field is so fast and so quick that that molecule that you create, that plasma, when you start vibrating, it start vibrating and appearing when you look at it next to itself, next to itself, next to itself, to infinite, but it's coming from that one particle itself. And when it shifts, when it shifts, it's reprinting itself and creating another version of itself, but that new version becomes a new universe. And when it pulsates, it's starting to expand to the infinite of the entire universe, God consciousness, consciousness itself, and collapse to the smallest of the smallest. And each collapse is a fractal, 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 fractal reprint of itself, which is 
each fractal reprint of itself is a new universe. But in that fractal creates also you because when it's done mutating with other expressions of itself as a reflection, it's creating new versions now. So it is infinite locations, 360 degrees. And that expense is like a breeding. And between the, the expansion and the collapse is a zero point when you shift realities. And that's why each time you shift from here to here, you reprint in the same frequency vibration of the previous emotion, thoughts, and action. And you're shifting yourself in a brand new or based on the previous uh, frequency that you've been giving off. That's why there's no time. Everything is in the now. And in the now, you want to feel something that you have. And this is part of the quantum manifestation. So you're not waiting for something to happen. You got to give the vibrational frequency emotion of what you want. Hold it like a blueprint and take an action at the same time. So again, Trinity structure, blueprint of what you think emotion to activate with some wave that blueprint to move and then to move and to become matter to condense it into matter you have to have consistency of action with the same feeling in order to crystallize that to become a matter reality and that matter reality in order to construct it you may need to do it over and over and over and over again because you want to make it potent enough to pop into matter. For example, the way if everybody's seen the video when you put a sound wave frequency towards the glass, very famous video on YouTube, you can find it. And when you put that sound wave and all of a sudden you see the glass start shaking and they start wiggling, you actually break in the field of this glass and shatters. But if you know how to do that, you can actually reconstruct it again and you can make it be like a fluid or be more dense and become this glass. So this is what we're learning with the quantum manifestation protocol that I have, how for you to become your own sovereign being and not allowing somebody to control your mind and thoughts by believing because I've said, don't believe me, just practice. Because when you practice, you're going to start manifesting for yourself through the structure. Because you are God itself, you are the universe in a fractal momentum. And you're projecting everybody in your field from within. It's nobody outside of you. Because when you shift that particle, which is you, for example, you're actually reprinting another version itself, but based on somebody else. But actually is another version of you in somebody else's face. So actually, this is a quantum concept. For example, when all of you see me, you actually project in the fractal momentum of yourself by projecting this field within your consciousness and I become me, but actually is another version of you because there's nobody outside of you. So you can activate and create a reality for ascension process because this information is already available. And if you are not activated as an individual, you will not be seeing me or even appear in your platform. But what's happening here, consciousness is going to the next level of evolution. And because of that, every single fractal moment of negative or positive reality is part of under the umbrella of consciousness itself. Everybody's been pushed and being shown the way to do something. But because it's a free will in consciousness, you may be shown the way, but it's up to you if you want to learn about it or you want to take a physical action. And again, in order to crystallize something to happen as a matter of an outcome, you have to take the physical action. You cannot just meditate. I see a lot of mistakes with that. They just meditate and, oh, it doesn't matter. It's happening in this reality, but you're not putting the physical action to do something in the name of humanity because this way you're going to make it more potent as a frequency because even what you see is a part of your projection so how are things going to change when you wait in a government to change something without you putting the action to do something in the name of humanity go the way you guys are doing or go to uh, somebody help help a neighbor it doesn't matter you helping on a big scale or small scale why because in the quantum structure that's how they taught me it's a bylaw even if you see one person right now, the goal is to talk to this person with the emotion at the same time that you're talking in front of millions of people. 
the same emotion. Why? Because that's what you put in. And when you build enough potency of the same emotion, they told me, give the best of yourself, of the best of your abilities, even if you talk to one person. I'm quoting what the Council of Nine taught me. Because when you do that, you're projecting that, grab the emotion at the same time. Now, when you're talking to just one person that you're talking in front of millions of people, and when you do this with consistency, it will build enough potency that all of a sudden through synchronicity, something's going to happen in your field that you're going to get to that level. But when you're going to get to that level, how is going to happen? Who is going to be the person? They said, don't have expectations because in a field, is infinite of probability how you're going to manifest something. Because from your perception, the way we were taught, you were taught exactly of the narrative of the negative entities that hijack humanity. And why they hijack humanity? Because your body is a vessel of a small fractal of consciousness expression. Your chakras are certain frequency sound waves that they can shift, bilocate, and create timelines in different realities. From dimension four, you can jump to dimension 11 if you know how to mutate through the quantum structure of manifestation. More you do that, more you are lacking this. And guess, guys, what is the key of unlocking this knowledge? The key codes that are like portals of timelines is not your mind, is the heart. Because the heart is holding the emotional sequence, which is key notes of sound waves that can be translated in codes. That's why you see in my videos codes, because they create specific location into the quantum field, latitude, altitude, where to go in the star system, what reality, what timeline, and your mind and consciousness and soul knows exactly how to do it when you know this knowledge, and you are lacking the key of the universe of who you are. That's why I teach that. So if you want abundance, you also have to be abundance. You cannot just go and grab from people, oh, if this is stupid one is given for free, why not? Well, you know that this person is also living in this timeline. Money is not negative, it's the way it's used. Because when you see that the person is suffering, why not just give it for free and allow the person to donate whatever they wish to donate? However, Council of Nine suggested, and Council of Nine was the one that happened with energy philanthropy because I was saying, oh, if I had billions of dollars, I will be a philanthropist. And they told me, what makes you think that you're not a philanthropist? And I said, what are you talking about? I don't have billions of dollars. And they said, Marina, when you give constantly, because they taught me to constantly keep helping. And if you listen to my story, I, my husband was sick, my child was sick, and I was by myself, nobody to help. And here we go, lived everything and start helping people without asking for money how much. But, you know, and that's ludicrous. But when you learn my stories and when you study the quantum manifestation, is actually when you project the frequency of giving, you're giving that frequency within the field. And in a quantum structure, anything you put out out of you, it reflecting back from these particles in the sound waves, it literally goes like this and like a ripple effect comes back to you like a boomerang. So actually whatever you project comes back to you, but because of infinite of structures, you don't know how it's gonna manifest to come to you from what location and where and who is going to be the person, whatever you create. So all of a sudden, more and more you give, more and more through potency and comes and boom, money is stopped pouring out of nowhere or whatever. You, and you do it the whole time when you do that, you got to be in the joy. In the back of your mind, you may think of money, but you have to train your consciousness, which you're going to learn that from my material, how to constantly shift your perception through the quantum structure knowledge. I am a hologram. I create everything. Thank you so much. Gratitude. Why gratitude? Because the gratitude keeps neutrality in the field. So when you project something, you're not projecting something from fear because if it's fear, if that emotion has a sequence of fear, it's going to reflect back to you. So you're not going to be able to manifest whatever you want. But if it's through neutrality of understanding, you're now in a zero. There is no panic what's happening but total understanding and this is the switch 
And then you take an action from positive because it's a fluctuation now with these waveforms and it's projecting the outcome of your reality of probability of the shifting of the timelines because you're shifting very quickly. The combination of that emotional fluctuation, which is, you're going to study in season one, fluctuating realities, actually the end result will be positive or negative. You're always going to have a result, but what type of frequency, what type of action of the result? And that's why in the quantum structure, one plus one equals three, because between your reality and my reality right now, we create a core reality, which is the third structure, newborn structure. That's why it's not like that. But that newborn structure also holds its space in the reality, in the quantum field, that I can create whatever I wish to. So this is why uh, when you project and you give from the heart, if you have a lot of money and you give from the heart, you're giving because you're respecting the person and not because somebody made you pay for them. How do you learn then compassion? And they told me never to suggest to people to do exactly the way I did it in the beginning, because if you don't know the quantum structure and you panic how you're going to pay the bills, you will project not to have the money. So it's an absolute learning process of you redirecting your attention and your perception of what reality is, which is going to create a new synopsis. But when you create new synopsis in your uh, brain, it's going to start having different charge of frequency. And that charge of frequency will ab uh, make you being able to create these new timelines because we're not talking here for uh, fractal momentum, we're talking of permanent timeline, which all of a sudden things are happening easy for you because you were able to restructure your thinking and your brain synapses, which is giving you the charge. Now we're talking matter of a frequency. And this you learn, you can learn that in neuroplasticity. Whatever I said, if you read a little bit, you're going to see how based on your emotion is a different charge and that charge creates different different pathways into your neurons but that is connected with the quantum structure so when you learn the stuff and you start doing the stuff you're going to see how you're going to feel great by just donating somebody to help that reaction from the person the feedback is what you want. You actually be greedy, but be greedy for the frequency of the reaction of the person because you gave from the heart. And that's what people need to understand that the new timelines are based on the heart structure because the benevolent entities and benevolent beings, they live above the structure of greed because when you're in a structure of greed and the way we're locked in, in this reality, there was no connection with the compassion because these ETs discovered that we have that an original codon. You can bilocate and mutate to the timeline. So they locked you in into a timeline, artificial timeline. And they start projecting constantly frequency and narratives of ideas. So you can start projecting the timeline. You like a live battery for these entities, negative entities, which were extraterrestrial, but very negative. And so now this created a reality, which was a lockdown prison in a virtual reality structure. You're going to learn about holograms. All your reality right now is simply a hologram, but you're making it matter because of the density frequency you're creating from your consciousness and thoughts. If you know how to manifest through the material, trust me, you can bilocate and create realities by your wishing that no structure will be able to withhold you into their frequency. And this is why technology was used. This is why they were using GMO food and anything from the air and anything like this, because it was basically destroying the original codon DNA, which was the reprint of fractal momentum of consciousness itself. And when you damage that, you end up locked into the timeline when only this consciousness can survive. Why can they survive only in this timeline, in the negative outcome? because they accumulated so much negative that they do not have the heart structure to open the portals to these timelines of benevolent because they were only overtaken. So now you got to create technology 
Now you got to create artificial AI that is really negative and overtake because then you got to create artificial portals within the time space of the quantum field that is almost like machinery of ether technology. So you can survive there because you cannot survive above the structure. So that is why it was fundamental for them to lock us in with fear, with bad food, and to be recycling only maximum eight years, seven. By the time you're 50, everybody is sick already. What's happening now? And now is the survival of the fetus, they told me. And the year, this particular year, the year of revelation, because everybody is being activated. Everybody is being shown that something is wrong. There is not going to be one consciousness. I don't care where you were born, even if you're in a cave somewhere, you will be activated through synchronicity to find out what's happening. But if you allow your ego, your stubbornness, and anything else to sink in, you're going to be hit 10,000 times in your face, and you're still going to hold the negative structure because you allow the ego to overtake you. This is the people that will not be able to make and shift this timeline. And because they're compliant, when logic is out of the window, when you allowing somebody to control your body and tell you what you should do with your body, you don't know the agenda. I gave to a lot of people and I will tell to your followers to look into stopworldcontrol.org website. This website is gonna give you a lot of information, including doctors. And recently, on the Rumble website, uh, Rumble uh, channel, you actually can find um, from doctor, uh, from the senator, uh, one of the senators, Senator Ron Johnson. He had on Rumble, is right here on Rumble. Let me show this to all your audience. You can find this and it's five and a half hours of medical doctors discussing this information is leaking already. Um, what is really happening? And you're gonna find out because I can't see here for censorship, you know, I don't know where you're posting, uh, what they discuss and what they discover and everything else is there and you will be surprised what's happening. So my only thing is for everybody to try to express itself from the heart, learn different methods of, uh, uh, learn lucid dreaming, learn if you wish to uh, quantum manifestation protocol. Quantum manifestation protocol is uh, the alchemy of creation, how you create. It gets into the particles, the frequencies of how you mutate your structure is the mechanics of who you are. Because if you don't know the mechanics, you can control it. That's the bottom line. We can all talk about, oh, be forgive, you know, the way the Bible, forgive the person that killed somebody. Well, how should I should be in jail? Well, that person was projected in your timeline, in your reflection, because you needed to learn a lesson. But in order to move forward, you got to 100% forgive and let it go because you don't want any input coming from the field back to you of the same and when you study the quantum structure how this works and why you need to do that even if you don't want to do it do it reluctantly the way i study because it's going to free you out of the frequency vibration that is being reprinting by your choosing because they told you watch the tv all the time but that is the narrative of projection of somebody else to control your mind. When you pull away from that, and when you learn the quantum structure of manifestation, you become the creator. You were always the creator. Even when you were projecting the TV, you decided to experience that. Why? Because how are you going to learn to mutate structures and realities when you don't know how much of what? You are alchemist. How are you going to know how to make a clay, for example, and pottery if you don't know the consistency? Well, before you find out, you're going to practice. And of course, some of them are going to crack. This is exactly what's happening. Consciousness allow in the beginning of creation to explore and to do different alchemy and different realities. And it realized that no longer this is compatible because it's distracting. Now we learn. 
And now when consciousness itself is moving to the next level, no longer this is allowed. Because of that, everybody's going to be activated. And if you choose not to move forward, you're going to go into back into creation, dissemination by collapsing that timeline reality for itself of extinction. And the rest of them, through synchronicity, will start moving towards the platforms of realities and timelines. When you individually going to have experience, could be ETs, could be telepathic connection, could be the way we're doing it right now. And that just the baby steps of everything. And of course, you're going to have people that are much advanced, people that already went on board of spacecrafts. But that doesn't mean, and then you're going to have people that are going to be the leading edge between connection between the ETs and the human race. But these people will be the cream of the society in a good structure. Because in order for you to even be allowed to have a contact with these ETs and stuff like this, or for example, to lead humanity to contacts with them, you have to hold the, the highest integrity and resonance in your consciousness. They can see it just like that. It's very important to understand that for everybody. You cannot do this job from a grid. You cannot. And let me emphasize that it's fundamental because when you start doing this job, you can make millions of dollars. Just look at how many people follow me and how many people imagine everybody pays at least $20. You will make in one hour at least 14 to 20,000 to $40,000 just of what I do. There are people that charge in 250 per webinar and they have thousands of people. But tell me, is this information only for the people who can pay you or this information was given for the entire humanity? How many people can pay you? There are people who cannot even pay you $20 because that will be the meal for the week for them. And I met people like that. I met a homeless person calling from library and crying, young yeah, man, beautiful man, and telling me, thank you so much. That should fill your soul. This action should fill your soul. There was a lady from Russia donated $2. And of course, PayPal ended up taking some of it, you know. And um, I cried because that poor woman probably gave the salary for the day for me, which for me will not make a much difference. But when it's thousands of people do the same, hear how by collective, we're supporting each other. Because don't tell me you don't have $20 to give here and there through the entire year to somebody's work when you really know. But that also gave the opportunity for the people in this community, and doesn't matter what it is, to also extort humanity, to abuse humanity through that process. That's what they said, that I did the energy philanthropy 100%. You can come and you can donate whatever you wish to, or not if you don't wish to, if you don't have anything. But they also taught me that if you do and you just grab, you're projecting of the same. So in the end, somebody will not give you the way you have and didn't give, for example, somebody else. Because all that process, you're still in a monetary system because they told me the monetary system the money they said is fundamental for building the infrastructure for the new beginning. And because if you pull it out at once, it's going to collapse everything. That's what they always tell me slowly but surely until we get to the quantum financial system, which I talk about it, but that's etheric. Before that, before you even project that probability of a timeline for you, we got to go through different systems until we get rid of the minions that they were all around the planet. Because a lot of people were manipulated. Some of them will be abused. Uh, they have double personalities. They don't know. So they told me never judge because some of these people were put in such a tough situations that they were afraid for their family and their life. But what you can do is hold that thank you so much for existing and showing me even if it's negative what i not to do because i'm choosing but i want to express myself to be the best of myself in the name of humanity because that is going to lead and the council of nine i have that in prediction books they told me that they are watching every single one of us and doesn't matter you doctor lawyer of what we do because eventually when you're going into interstellar 
there will be people picked to do this work, to be the connection. And you're going to have a personal connection with them. But to do that, you got to be tested. So let's see this person wants to be a healer, wants to do this job. Let's see if that person gets with a lot of money. What are you going to do? Are you going to get greedy like you're invincible and all of a sudden you're in an ego? Or what are you going to do if you're given the chance to make a lot of money and yet to give everything from the heart in the name of humanity? How many of you will do that? That's what they told me. And I posted this and I said this to everybody. So when you do it, they said, but also at the same time, if you, they said, if you're the main provider, you can charge, but they say charge with reason. And yet they said, make sure that you do energy philanthropy at least once a week. And why was that? Because in order for you to manifest, and this ha happens with the fluctuating realities, in order for you to really start manifesting complete abundance for yourself, you have to be the abundance first. But which one of this action of realities you take in more? Whatever is more, that's what you're manifesting in the end as a prime denominator. So if you are charging more, then in turn, this is going to happen. But what the ultimate is that you can have instantaneous manifestation for what you need. You don't even need the money. I have in my, in season four, there, uh, there is a video that is called examples of manifestation. Watch that video because it's going to show you what I went through, what I needed to do through the quantum structure to do it. And it's a struggling because it's exactly the opposite of what you've been taught. So in the beginning, you're acting like a crazy person. Oh, I'm giving everything, but how are you going to pay the bill? But you don't realize that you're going to think of something and through synchronicity consciousness is going to, you actually, of your expression in a fractal, you're going to create realities that, is going to give you, could be a neighbor, could be a person. We, when I start doing this, one of the manifestation was we didn't know how to pay the bill for the next month, the mortgage. We had no idea. And we say, no, oh, would it be nice to get a check in the mail? And you leave it at that. You don't have expectations. You're going to study this in quantum manifestation protocol. Literally within a couple of days, we get in a check for $2,000, I remember. And that was paying literally the mortgage. And how did that happen? Because for some reason, in two years, the job of my husband ended up collecting money from certain shows that were doing TV, for example. And that was, ex they were paying extra fee. But they were paying, for example, $50, $100. So you, I'm getting the check and the mail. And then we got $6,000 of the something else when the roof was leaking. And we get, in, I would never forget, we got $6,400 and they were charging us $6,000 and we even had a $400 for food. In quantum manifestation video season four examples of manifestation, I will prove you there how we had only $38 in the bank account and my son had a birthday and I was able to manifest and pay organic food for the whole family without manifestation eh? watch how i did it but you have to study the alchemy don't think that we listen in quantum manifestation protocol one time you have to practice even if you see my examples trust me what is going to be challenging when you get in a situation and when you want to manifest you have to do exactly the opposite and that's going to drive you crazy because it's literally You've been indoctrinated in their program. Now you got to reprogram from ground zero. And the thing is happening. Oh my God, you've been told that you have to go work. You have to get a job. You have to get this paper money. You have to put it in a bank. This is all a steps to loop you into this reality without telling you that you can literally think of something and somebody can, you can manifest completely house. It could happen, but don't have any ability to think how, because it's infinite probability how. But if you think of it and you start taking the actions, it could be a relative pops out of nowhere. But guess what? You created and projected this reality. When you change something, you're not changing 
the mirror image you're changing yourself first because when you're standing in front of the mirror that's the analogy when you look at yourself in the mirror who is the real person the mirror image or you i'm gonna tell you no is the mirror image and you're gonna say marina you're crazy well yeah i am then why are you believing everything they show in a national tv that is true even if it's a tornado coming i give examples how even change that so don't go around now in the tornado you got to be really trained you know so please that's my disclaimer don't go into the tornado you know so uh you have to really study because what you're doing even if it's a tornado for example there i give example what i did and i proved to a bunch of people in a party even if it's there you actually create in reality within the reality and not the hologram under the umbrella of the first one and you create your own dome when you may see the rain is dripping a little bit you may see but you don't experience that all of a sudden in your particular location is sunny or it doesn't rain or you may see the clown but doesn't rain and i have example with that how the neighbor came in and said for the party and said you're not going to believe it was a downpour and i had to stop and guess where it doesn't rain only this house and our house but he didn't know that the entire time for the next 20 minutes, I was telling everybody, trust me, guys, it's beautiful. It's sunny. It's sunny. It's sunny. You don't call what you don't want. You call what you want and believe it that it's 100% now. That's how you manifest. But you have to know the protocols. You have to practice. So what happened is I saw drizzling, big drops of water. Even when you see it, you keep calling what you want. It's sunny. It's beautiful. Thank you, rain. You water in the grass, but I know it's sunny. It's sunny. It's sunny. Beautiful. It never went sunny, but it stopped raining. And we all sat outside partying while everybody else was a downpour like a bucket. He came soaking wet before he gets in, in a, uh, because he couldn't get in from the house. It was a big property. And it, it was literally two houses was not raining. And we're talking downpour. So you create in reality within the reality, you can do that. And I've done this several times like this. I practice. I even instantaneous man, uh, instantaneously manifested $10. But I've noticed this happened twice, instantaneous manifestation when I needed, when it was for my kids. And what happens in your third mind literally visualizes and you instantaneously, I instantaneously turn around, open the bucket, and it was brand new brand new ten dollars in there when we didn't have the money so this is also happening so see you don't need the bankers well you're gonna need them when we moving forward but what's gonna happen you're gonna start learning this instantaneous manifestations this mutation because you're gonna be learning how properly to mutate the structures the realities through the frequencies because what you're doing is you're recalling frequency vibration of exact location exact sound but even if it's exact sound, it's got to be enough potency of the same sound to build structure. Because that structure, if it's above reality, it has to be more potent than the one that you uh, exist in at the moment. So all that is quantum structure. This is all that is quantum alchemy. And that's what I have the knowledge. That's what I'm good at, how to show you how to do that. And when I have a session, usually is no predictions because predictions are probability, but I do have predictions based on what they give me. Don't get out of the country until 2023. Uh, I talk about virus in 2017, the same thing out of the country. I discuss democratic states gonna look like totalitarian states. Uh, I discuss a lot of stuff, what they gave me, which is already locked in into reality 100% through the fluctuation of the outcomes. Basically how much more through humanity we did and where you shifted your timeline through actions and you end up pulling yourself on going into realities that are positive. That's why it's also individual because from the your individual frequency you project in the collective. So you're not changing anybody. You're changing your location of a timeline. Each shift is a fractal momentum in the time of Earth, but the same shift of the same frequency, emotion, thoughts, and action creates a permanent timeline. And then again, with this permanent timeline, you have fluctuation and fluctuation within the fluctuation. 
And you're going to learn that through all these materials. Our thoughts essentially can change the entire universe. You can build a new universe. Literally. You can understand one thing, you're lucid dreaming. It's another reality, another version of reality, another density of reality. So if somebody wants to have a direct jump, study lucid dreaming. However, that doesn't mean you're going to be allowed to go somewhere because when I I learned lucid, they didn't stop me. But they teach me protocol of ascension directly from the body into location and connection with ETs. That is now ascension. That is actually the true ascension. When you take the body, existing body, you mutate the cells and consciousness is already there because first of all, you have to have the concept how this is possible and your consciousness to hold the vibration of this idea. That's why when you study and when you read the harmonic reactor, you know, and thanks for your support and donation for that. When you read the harmonic reactor, it's actually activating your fifth dimension because it's written in the fifth dimensional sequences. That's why you didn't see me publish it because I had publishers, they wanted to change the narrative of my material. That's why you see me standing alone because I had to make sure that is in the pure form so I can activate your DNA through the reading because every word is a sound wave sequences and is giving you the proper codes to activate your consciousness and DNA for fifth dimensional preparation. Now it's up to you if you wanna continue studying the material, but the seeds are planted. And even if you don't understand, just read it. If you don't have the money, you don't have to donate. It's in the name of humanity, okay? But I appreciate the support because that supports my family. You know, uh, but I do not attach this with the money because I was taught energy philanthropy. And this is how the Council of Nine told me, just the energy. So they said to me, you're energy philanthropist. And this is how energy philanthropy came about from the Council of Nine. I love it. And for anybody that is feeling really called to practice energy philanthropy, do you feel as though there can be sort of a balance between, you know, taking small steps in that direction? Uh, taking small steps is like, if you're the main provider, charge with reason, whatever you do. So, uh, um, so you can have a stepping stone for that. And in the meantime, provide, definitely have like a once a week, practice exactly energy philanthropy, because what's gonna happen when you, give somebody like this, now you're going to get nervous because how I'm going to pay the bills. But you have to start thinking, I am a quantum field. I am consciousness itself. I have everything I need. I have money. I have money. I have food. I have everything you call in. Not that you're going to have the money. So what's going to happen? You may have a couple of people come in and not donating anything because they choose to. And again, I explain if you, if you have and you choose to, there's no excuse for you because if you want abundance, you have to be abundance when you know that this person has to pay the bills Why you just take. You can always provide $20 for something, right? Except you totally in, in the ditch, you know, which I, I had people. So they said for you to uh, definitely, uh, when you don't charge, you start to, basically you're gonna learn to do this, uh, to do that at that day. And that feeling, you may have a couple of people not donating, but you can have one person that can even give you $500. Yes. yes. And I've noticed that, and I gave examples with that, how, for example, one or two days, I don't know what happened, was a couple of people, for whatever reason, they didn't. And I kind of panic, and it's normal to panic, you know, because I'm going, I'm in a flow. And immediately I pull back and I'm going, I'm in a flow. Out of the blue, this lady showed up in Saturday. I remember, I would never forget that was the first time this happened to me. Uh, like two days in a row, no donation whatsoever from people's hearts or whatever. And, and I knew some of them had the income to do it, but they chose not to. And you feel, uh, you feel bad, you feel sad when you see the people are grabbing without distributing, you know. Uh, but yet I was taught to be there no matter what, because I had to be like an example, because it's important for me to project the frequency so I can collect it back from other location. 
And what happened just ate it up out of nowhere. And I was so booked, but I just did it quickly. I had no idea. That lady donated $600 that day. And I had no idea. I was in tears because it paid my bills. And I do sometimes, you don't know your donation today. I say sometimes, uh, pay the food of my children. You know, because people got to realize that the money structure is still part of the fractal momentum of the ascension until we get what is the core of what we pay in the stuff. But the way you exchange in it is a different structure. It's from the hearts because this way, when you give, even if you give a $10, you know, it's from joy that I had sessions that somebody gave me $30 and I go with somebody to give $30. That person doesn't have money for some reason. And I, I have the feeling I know about the person. I know who is greedy and who is not. And I, and I had a situation that I returned the money. Somebody, there was by mistake, somebody donated $2,000. I panic. I called them. They made a mistake. She wanted to give me 200, I think, for whatever. And she put 2000 And the woman was in panic was the money for her food for the month or mortgages. And immediately I called in PayPal myself and said to do a dispute because that takes a long time. So of course I would take out of my time to do this. I cannot imagine not to and allow PayPal to dispute for a month or two when that person's got to eat. Sure. So this compassion has to come from within. When you see the reaction of the person, you know, to do that. But what I'm saying is when you accumulate enough of giving, and let me tell this everyone, it took me two years of nonstop helping and giving until it became really big. In the beginning, one lady found me uh, and she was having sessions every uh, twice a week, sometimes three. And she was donating from her heart. And I uh, said, oh, no, 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 no. And she said, you can't tell me what I want to give you from my heart. And I said, wait a minute here. That sounds like a council of nine. And said, why didn't you tell me that they can donate whatever they wish to? And they said, because we want to train you not to have expectations. Because when you don't have expectations, the frequency into your reality timeline comes very easily to manifest quickly. But if you have expectations, it's more difficult to manifest because the expectation holds an emotional frequency, which is a vibration. And that itself is a timeline of reality, like a hologram that you plaster in on top of this. And now it's hard from the field itself to give you back what you really need right away. That's why it takes more time. And if you learn to control that, then the manifestation becomes easier. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So inspiring. We have uh, uh, lots of questions that are coming. Go ahead, ready? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We will try to get to all of them. Um, but one question really, oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we are unfortunately running out of time in this space um, that we're in, <laughs> but hopefully, um, we can have you back on sometime soon, Marina, because this has been incredible. such an incredible conversation. I mean, yeah, sure. Next time is going to be only Q and A. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Because yeah. we've gotten so many great questions coming through. I was trying to quantumly manifest the the situation to change where they don't need the room right now, but maybe for next time. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was the question? Oh, no, I was just saying um, they came and knocked on the door of the place that we rent the space for this. You know, oh, this oh, my God, that's what happened. Yeah, oh. That's what happened. So I said I was trying to um, manifest the changing of that timeline, but it didn't work. <laughs> well, see, when this happens, you got to let it be because it's meant to be. And I promise you, I'll be back with you for Q&A. And I'm, oh. yeah. All right. Thank you so much. We love having you. You're incredible oh. being. And thank you so much for everything. Because look at it this way. When you manifest like this, you got to look at different perspectives. So you're going to train now not to be upset about it, but because it's meant to be. And because perhaps everything I said, everybody needed to hear, except the Q&A. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. That's how you twist stuff. I just gave you an example. Yeah. You're going to find the positive within the situation. You're going to look for the positive in the situation. That's how you mutate.
perfect okay. example. All right. Thank you. Thank you so, Thank so you. much. <laughs> All right. Thank you everybody for coming. We so appreciate you. And uh, we will be sure to put the details of how to connect with Marina in the email that we send out with the recording. Yeah. MarinaJacobi.com. Yeah, just to everybody, keep in mind that I am booked until 2024 January. If you want to find sessions, you have to frequently go. It's automatic booking. You're going to see it before me. And if you want to come to every week, Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern time, you got to subscribe to my uh, website and you're going to be, you can be live in my, uh, in our webinars. Amazing. Thank, Thank you, you so much. So much. Thank love. you Congrats. very much. Thank you, girls. Bye. Bye. Bye.